wiffle ball for a great cause. Hitting the rails on bikes. And the beverage trail at two new stops. Plus a new exquisite spot to get away from it all right here in the Poconos. Then helping those who are homeless, disabled, in recovery, or in need of mentorship. A look at the impactful work of several nonprofits being recognized this month and how some of the best eateries in the Poconos are getting involved. Hey everyone, welcome to the September edition of Pocono Mountains Magazine. I'm here with Jim and Brianna, my amazing co-hosts. We're here at Promised Land State Park, one of the most beautiful places to check out the fall foliage this season. We have a lot of fun stories coming up this episode. Brianna, tell us what we have coming up. Yeah, I hear the inspiring stories behind four organizations that are receiving a hands up this month through the 20th annual Pocono Mountains Community Fundraiser, plus get a taste from some of the local restaurants serving up good eats during the event. Jim, what's going on with you this month? Well, we've also got Pick Up the Poconos Day. That's September 23rd, so you can still sign up at pickupthepoconos.com. But we've got so many great stories. We're gonna start off with a little bit of wiffle ball at Barley Creek with some great food along the way. Check this out. Hey, it's Jim Hamill, and if you ventured out on the Pocono Beverage Trail, I'm sure you've seen just how unique each and every stop is, from wineries to distilleries to even breweries like this one. But at Barley Creek Brewing Company, they have something nobody else does. It's the pint-sized park where they can play wiffle ball. And so on Tuesdays now, they've started up wiffle ball tournament with the Frogtown Chop House and Pocono Beverage Trail, and they're raising money for a good cause. Check it out. Tails, all right, you get to pick. Uh, why don't we take the field first? All righty. Strike two. Strike three. Hey there, TV Land. This is Trip Ravane, co-founder of Barley Creek Brewing Company. Um, we're getting together uh, tonight and every Tuesday night. What we're going to try and do is uh, get the Pocono Beverage Trail and uh, the hospitality industry together for service industry night. What we're also gonna do is raise some money for um, some good causes. And the two causes that we currently have in mind is the Hospitality Scholarship Program, which is uh, supported by the Pocono Mountain Visitors Bureau, and also um, the Pro Start Program, which is uh, Monroe County Career Technical Institute, which is supported by the Pennsylvania Restaurant Lodging Association. Okay, yeah, let's go! Yeah. Let's go, that's a run! Come on, boys! Uh, Trip came up to me a couple weeks ago. I got an idea. When Trip says that, we roll with it. So we had a meeting, and he says, "Hey, why don't you bring your Leapfrog, which is our brand new mobile kitchen, which does events and weddings all over the Poconos? Why don't you bring it here every every Tuesday night from five to eight? Let's partner with the Pocono Beverage Trail. Let's get some charities involved. You guys cook, we'll serve drinks, and play some wiffle ball. It's fun all around." Wiffle ball can be the most complicated sport in the world. It's right out there with golf. You know, in theory, the wiffle ball that we're gonna be playing, you're not running the bases. And you know, the wiffle ball that we're playing with the beverage trail, I like to say, um, as long as the game can be played while holding a beverage, then that's the kind of game I wanna play. Every team that uh, comes and plays against the field, it's a $25 entry fee. The Frogtown is going to donate a small portion of their food sales, and Barley Creek is going to donate a small portion of our beverage sales. And that's going to go into the uh, two charity funds. We're going to have Frogtown fries, which is fries topped with a little cheese sauce, some bacon. It's fantastic. Of course, Chef Lyman's famous crab cakes. We have a vegan option. Any vegans out there, we have a great vegan uh, flatbread wrap option. We have grilled shrimp skewers. We have uh, pork belly on a stick. So it's a little bit of a mix between kind of festival fair food and some good old fashioned Frogtown Chop House classics. What has happened after 2020 is it took the hospitality industry and hotel industry that was always so, hey, we know what we're doing. Hey, I know what I'm doing. Never talk to each other. Now we are a family, every single one of us. We're supposed to be uh, in the fun industry. And uh, I got to tell you, I have a lot of fun with this. And if you're not playing wiffle ball because I've got six teams playing, you could be playing cornhole. This could turn into the beverage trail Olympics as well. <laughs> The Pine Size Park is the wiffle ball spot in Northeast Pennsylvania. Trip's done an absolutely incredible job. I'm on the turf, my feet feel good, 
full rules, full battle, this is the place to do it. Do me a favor, grab your friends. If it's a beautiful night in the Poconos, which is every night's a beautiful night in the Poconos, come on down to the Pine Size Park, especially on Tuesdays. Pretty cool, right? So they're gonna try to raise about $2,500 each for those causes through the wiffle ball tournaments every Tuesday through October at Barley Creek Brewing Company and Pine Size Park. So check it out at barleycreek.com and show up, swing a bat, and have a beer. For PTN, I'm Jim Hamill. Coming up, we are in the PA Live Kitchen ahead of the Pocono Mountain Community Food Fest fundraiser. We are talking good eats with the chefs who know it best. Hey, it's Jim Hamill. Find out how this amazing, spectacular pool is just the centerpiece for this beautiful residence club right here in the heart of the Pocono Mountains. That's coming up on Pocono Mountains Magazine. Now for the Poconos in the news. So one thing about me, I love being outside. And downtown Milford has small town charm and outdoor adventure. Taylor Kinsler stopped into Milford and went out on the Delaware River with Kittatinny Canoes and also sampled the menu at the Tom Quick Inn for Philly Live. And their menu is a perfect blend of New England meets Manhattan. Plus, more than 3,000 kids went back to school in style thanks to this backpack giveaway organized by the Pocono Mountains United Way. It's one of the many community initiatives making us Pocono proud. And the Pocono Record featured a story on how summer camps have a $250 million impact to the local economy. A recent study found more than 50 camps in the Poconos which create jobs and support local businesses. Speaking of more jobs in the Poconos, hundreds are coming to Great Wolf Lodge. WBRE-TV was there as NFL star Tiki Barber and his family helped celebrate the grand opening of seven new indoor water slides and an expanded outdoor area with villas and additional guest rooms still to come. We'll be right back with more Pocono Mountains Magazine. All right, stand by. Sound speeds. We have to get the word out about a great Pocono Mountains vacation. Wait, don't wait for five years. Well, if this fine team can't figure it out, I shall invent it myself. Good luck with that. <laughs> don't we already have the travel guide? Yes, for five years and PoconoMountains.com. Note to Chris, Pocono Mountains Magazine. No travel guide. For your free guide, go to PoconoMountains.com. For a warm welcome and refreshing wine, Three Hammers Winery really delivers. The Hobson Second District Brew Farm are grown right here. Bright Path Brewing is a small town craft brewery with a big flavor. Your trail awaits you. Make it whatever you want. Wineries, breweries, or distilleries. I've always wanted to craft a trail. <laughs> of course you do. Visit PoconoBeverageTrail.com. Hey, yo, it's Jim Hamill with Pocono Television Network here at Serenite atop Camelback Mountain. And I've got Amanda Gavilanis Hello. with us here. She's the director of operations yeah. for Serenite. And we're going to go on a little tour here of these fantastic properties. Amanda, thanks for taking us. Of course. Welcome to our beautiful residences. Please come take a look. You'll be excited. We had always pictured, you know, having a club where people can get away, not have to worry about the overhead, the maintenance of a second home. You just get a chance to get away in the Pocono Mountains, enjoy doing nothing except coming in, getting out of town, or they're hitting the ski mountain in the winter time, or the, there's a number of different summer activities. You have all the space in the world. You can cook with your family, eat some breakfast at the island. Yeah. We got the living room right off the kitchen. And you've got everything here for people when they show up yes. outside. It's, you want to cook? We have plates, we have coffee, uh, Keurig. The views on camera are always beautiful, but it's different when you're seeing the mountains in real life. You just get that natural sense of peace, which was kind of the genesis of the name Serenite. It's just a peaceful place where you, know, you can get away and just kind of you know, not worry about the daily life stuff. The view is one of the killer things yes. about Serenite. Where Absolutely. you guys are positioned, you can look right over on the slopes at Camelback. Wow. You can really see really Absolutely. far right now. Yep, Delaware Water Gap cannot miss it. We have great accommodations, beautiful location right on top of the North Ridge. Uh, and then the surrounding area, there's something to do 365 days out of the year in the Poconos. 
How many bedrooms? Five bedrooms, uh, six beds, downstairs basement, also has a wet bar, so you can Ooh. host like, you know, NFL type things, board game nights, all that kind of stuff. Or if you just want to throw the teenagers down there, it's a great spot as well. Perfect place to make drinks, definitely over here. It's a private residence club, which means it is members only. And basically we can tailor the membership to any family's needs. So we have a good little early retiree market that, you know, spend more time midweek and smaller residences. So, you know, the points on those associated nights are less. If you have a large family with five kids or something like that, and you're always staying in a five bedroom rooftop deck, you, know, you need a larger membership. Really, we have something that works for anybody. So on this floor, there's three bedrooms. Um, one of them has two queens. So Another this bedroom. is the room with um, two queens. You know, you get your teenagers. They could stay in wow. here and it's beautiful and it's very spacious for a double room. Our mission statement is where families gather and traditions are born. So we certainly want people to come back, get used to certain activities. This is one that kind of gives you just the relaxing feel of the mountains. So imagine being here in the winter and you get to sit and read a book and you have the view of the ski mountain at night. I'm sure you want to see the rooftop deck first before we go. Oh, That's our number one. <laughs> Can't miss that part. That's probably like our biggest. To the roof it is, Let's but then go. to the pool. Yes, absolutely. All right. With the rooftop deck, Todd Cannon chose to make sure that we had a view that no one's ever seen. So it's midsummer right now, and it is green for as far as the eye can see, and the blue skies, but eventually, the Poconos has award-winning fall foliage. Yes, that's so our favorite. This is gonna be an amazing view all the way from September through November. Amanda, thanks for giving us the of tour course. of the Welcome. residences. How many residences on property? 22 currently. 22 currently, but always room to move up. Absolutely. And out. Yeah. All right, good stuff. We're gonna go check out the pool next. Sounds good. All right. This right here is the pool at Serenite, an amazing facility, brand new for this season. And you can see people are already enjoying it. There's several different sections here and great places to lounge, just making this private residence club all the more interesting and enticing. The pool before season, so we got it right in time for Memorial Day weekend, right before the summer rush. Um, so it's the first amenity that's come online. The Serenite pool is 4,000 square feet, a luxury outdoor pool with a detached lap lanes that are heated all four seasons, plus an oversized hot tub, granite fire table, and swim deck social area, and soon the clubhouse. The clubhouse works into the pool, works into the great lawn, and really it's, it's the main gathering point if you drop like a pinpoint into the whole center of the campus. Th this will be where people come. And it'll really be a transitional space from the pool to the clubhouse, the great lawn area. So if you were to come up next summer, we'd have a great, you know, great lawn area, which is about the size of a football field where we're gonna do the wholesome activities like you had talked about, whether it be movie nights under the stars, you know, activities for the kids to get out and run around a little bit. To learn more, head to serenitymembersclub.com or follow Serenite on social. Jim Hamill for the Pocono Television Network. The Pocono Television Network is proud to partner with WBRE WYOU TV to support the 20th annual Pocono Mountains Community Fundraiser. This year's theme is Food Fest, with more than 20 local restaurants serving up delicious dishes during this month's event. Over the next hour, PA Live host Chris and Rachel will introduce us to some of those great eateries, beginning with the Frogtown Chop House. Take a look. The Pocono Mountains Community Food Fest fundraiser is Monroe County's largest single event fundraiser. Now in its 20th year, this community supported and community supporting initiative has cumulatively raised more than $2.9 million to benefit wow. thousands of our neighbors through dozens of local nonprofit organizations. On Wednesday, September 13th, Chef Lyman Winner from the Frogtown Chop House will be one of the chefs sampling his culinary eats and he joins us now with some colossal lump crab with cocktail sauce that we're making right now. Yes, Chef, I like to back. thank you. Thank you for having me again. Where do we start? <clears throat> We're keeping it simple today. So I work with my buddy Jimmy down at Corona Butcher and we do a little surf and turf. Mm -hmm. So this is just going to be a classic cocktail sauce with some of those ingredients that you know about. Okay. Rachel's going to throw some stuff in. What so we, we get some her? Old Bay going in, okay, right? Start it. with some ketchup. That's some fresh lemon juice Ooh. we're going to dump in there. Oh, yeah. look at that, starting to come together. We got okay. a little cayenne to kick it up a little bit. Okay. Does your right? sous chef usually dress like that's this? That's it, a that's it. Yeah, kick. she's looking good this morning, all what right? What do we have Horse here? Horseradish, oh. that's the one that gets you right in the nose, right? <laughs> it opens everything up, just... Yeah, yes, 
perfect. Take a look inside. Look there. at that. We're gonna mix it all together, yeah. and then that's just a little lemon there for garnish. Yeah, so here, we'll do this. Let's go like this. Set Chef, that as you're whipping this up, uh, whisking it up, I guess. Whisking. Why is it important <laughs> for you to be involved in an event like this? So I was approached by my good friend TJ and Philip St. James, and they came to me and said, "Hey, we need your help on this culinary side. We're, we want to bring together a bunch of restaurants." For this reason, for this fundraiser. Love that. Oh, and this is something that we can Shire. sample. That's right. So then how do we plate it? So we're just going to, again, I, I like to keep things really simple, yeah. approachable. Everybody understands what's going on here. So we're just going to put a little of this cocktail sauce down on the plate. Okay. Right? We'll Beautiful. do a little the, one of the swish oh, cool. like that, right? Okay. Swish. Something to look forward to. An art form. And, and with, the, with the freshly washed hands, we're going to take some of this big lump uh, crab here and put that on top, Yum. right? Look at that. Take and this is something we can get that. at the fundraiser. That's right. That'll be at the fundraiser. And I pair it with some beef carpaccio so we do a little surf and turf, right? Love that. Frogtown nice. Chop House, this is where it's at. Chef, this and more at the event? That's it. A lot more. All kinds of food, all kinds of vendors, restaurants from all over the community coming together to support a great, great event. Well, we appreciate you showing us here. Coming up on Pocono Mountains Magazine, this frothy goodness is at one of the newest brew spots all across the Pocono Mountains. Find out where and what's happening here at this train theme brewery. Coming up. Instead of the trails, this time I'm taking you on the tracks. Coming up on Pocono Mountains Magazine. This edition of Pocono Mountains Magazine is presented by St. Luke's Monroe Campus and East Strasburg University. A vacation is for the whole family, even you, Mom. And the time with your family becomes a great memory. Now you can go on vacation the same time your family does. A vacation in the Pocono Mountains means you can't wait until tomorrow. A Pocono Mountains vacation can be a special kind of mom's therapy, too. Visit PoconoMountains.com. When you're in Lehighton, be sure to check out Within Harmony for holistic services, crystals, decor, and more. Cheers, y'all. Jim Hamill here. Where else would you find me but on the Pocono Beverage Trail? And this is one of the newest stops on the Pocono Beverage Trail. It's Runaway Train Brewery in downtown Honesdale. And it's appropriately named because, well, it's right on the railroad tracks in town. So they've got a lot of great beers on tap here. We're going to meet Charles, the brewer, in just a little bit. Great food to pair with it, as well as a lot of cool entertainment and so much on tap here at the newest stop on the Beverage Trail. Have a look. We found Charles Mills, the head brewer at Runaway Train, in his element, cranking out craft beer focused on quality and right on track. Really excited to start the, the beer program from the ground up. Really just want to focus on quality. Good quality IPAs and lagers is going to be the base of our program. As we get into the, the colder months, we'll go into stouts and porter. Just really want to keep quality up and, and be proud of what we make. Three, two, one. Mills was the one to cut the ribbon on the new brewery in Honesdale, ready to take passengers on a ride with tasty brews and a menu that pairs nicely with a stop along the Pocono Beverage Trip. We're at the very end of the train track, quite literally. Uh, you can either start or stop here, it's up to you. I'd recommend stopping. The Pocono Beverage Trail has really helped inspire you know, the creation of this brewery. So we've taken what was a brewery in town and tried to give it a different style, different approach. Justin Genslinger and Settlers Hospitality are helping to conduct this runaway train. But don't let the name fool you. Everyone on board knows right where they're going with a new brewery in Homestead. Town has just been fabulous. Homestead's got a great vibe going right now, and um, we're just thrilled to be a part of it. The brewery made a lot of sense for investment purposes, for economic development, and a way for us to plant a flag in Homestead and to expand our presence in the community. There's just so many good things to be a part of an up-and-coming small town. It's beautiful to see. There's so much to do in Honesdale. And we're just thrilled that we feel welcome, that we're welcoming back, and we're, we're thrilled to be here. 
From the friendly staff to some big plans for the future, Runaway Train has some momentum, and then some. We're working on two different expansion efforts, both vertically and outside, and um, part of that is to incorporate families and pets. There just so happens to be the Storebridge line right next door, and uh, part of Honesdale's roots in the train industry. And it's just, everyone loves to talk about it. Who doesn't like seeing a vintage train? You will be able to take that uh, excursion rail with a beer in your hand down the river sometime in 2024. Actual train ride right from the brewery's front doors, which even has a strong mural game too, with local artists, Jeff George and Pauline Glycolacolis. He is so unique with the murals and the settings that he does. So we're thrilled to have them painting the skin and the outside ink of this style brewery. There's wine on tap too, even Mocha Origins cold brew coffee, and food specials weekly, live entertainment on Fridays, and the main ingredient this place runs on, the beer. Very proud of the space, very proud of the, the transformation we've done in the last couple months. Super happy with the beers coming out so far. Really excited for people to come check it out. Check out Runaway Train online and in person. One more stop along the Pocono Beverage Trail. Jim Hamm for the Pocono Television Network. Today is a celebration of the spirit of a team. Now an update to a story we've shared twice on Pocono Mountains Magazine, Jam Room Brewing Company in Greentown, and another milestone. We feel it's a sure bet, and just everybody that's here, I mean, this is our Jam fam, so everybody here has made this possible. It is a new 10-barrel brewing system for the brew crew, the vision shared by five friends, two who were lost along the way. But the Jam Fam saw it through. We are gonna start cranking out the beer here like nobody's business. The Jam Room is fully operational, rocking with Soundbites Restaurant and now with added brewing capacity for its loyal fans. There's nothing more exciting and nothing more gratifying than to see something come together. The story here is unique. The story here had, had bumps along the way, sadness, loss, triumph. It's great when you see really kind, good people succeed. This is a, a labor of love and unfortunately tears, but it really succeeded. And so it was, surrounded by family and friends, the Jam Room christened its new 10-barrel system the only way it should, with a party complete with live music. Visit the Jam Room Brewing Company just off Interstate 84 along Route 507 and help them pour this soundtrack to our lives. One more great success story along the Pocono Beverage Trail. Seeing how the COVID pandemic affected many aspects of our lives, the Pocono Mountains Community Fundraiser wanted to do their part in helping the many Monroe County local eateries. That's right. The Food Fest comes in now, so they're all involved in this fundraiser Food Fest that's really just a benefit to the community as well. Jimmy Azero from Corona Butcher is now going to show us some beef. You want to say it? Carpaccio. There you go. Very good. <laughs> With some Italian relish. So, right. Chef, where did you guys ever have try, uh, try carpaccio? Uh, luckily, the last now. time you were <laughs> here, right. you introduced us. This is fancy. Such a simple meal, but such an awesome flavor. Yeah. So, we're going to start out. I got some thin sliced tenderloin. Beautiful. We're going to lay those out. You know what a tenderloin is, right? Yeah. Actually, I'm like thinking now, like, what is this? It's Filet mignon, <laughs> baby. Oh, <laughs> is that raw or cooked? Raw. Yep. What it's makes the ultimate it okay carnival to eat meal. raw? That's what I'm wondering. What was that? Like, is it okay to eat raw meat? Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. You yeah. heard it here. <laughs> you know, what they tell you on the news, don't worry about don't it. Don't watch okay. it. Okay. All right. Well, we so we got, our, talk. We're not we got a we got a thin <laughs> sliced uh, tenderloin. Okay. Okay. All right. Beautiful. Now we're gonna make the Italian relish, as okay. we call it. This elevates so the dish. We got some. A little bit of oil already in there. Not yet. Not you yet. weren't supposed to see that. We got some capers. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We're going to put a little scoop of red onion. Yum. Now, as you're making and mixing this, you have now been involved with this for a year this or so. This is year number two for me. Food Fest. What does it mean yeah. for you to meet a whole new uh, group of, of potential customers, you know, you know uh, being a part of this? Event? I've been in Pocono Township now for 20 plus years. Great place, great people. Time to give back. 
Yeah, and such a know. huge positive feedback from last year. Yeah. I mean, everyone Yeah, it's, a, it's a wonderful thing to do. Loved it. So we're going to hit this now with some olive oil. Okay. A little olive oil. As I Love teased that. earlier. <laughs> we're going to mix this up. Nice. Easy little relish. Yep. Now, Chef, you got about 20 seconds, so are oh. we going to finish? Here we go. Here we go. Ready? Coming in with Remember the salt right behind. We're going to go over Community with this. Fundraiser <laughs> is not only showcasing Monroe County folks, but it's inviting and everybody and to nice come out. Nice sprinkle of sea salt. To the event. Look at that. Uh, do you need anybody to work in your kitchen? You're hired. I don't want her to leave here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we so appreciate you joining us. Thank you very much, guys. <laughs> A little preview of the Food Fest fundraiser. We've got more coming up soon. Hitting the trails by rail, Diana shows us what it's all about, coming up next. Pocono Mountains is your family. Our variety of attractions will fit your budget. See what we mean? Something for everyone. You know your next memories are here. Visit PoconoMountains.com. say goodbye to summer and enter the fall season, there is still so much to do in the Pocono Mountains. I want to bring you along with me on a fun outdoor adventure that you can still do through the end of October. So today I'm here at PA Rail Bike, formerly known as Soaring Eagle. So tell me how you guys brought it to a next level under new ownership. Sure thing. So they were already doing a great job. We just wanted to add a few new features. So for example, we have electric motors on the bikes, which takes you up and down the tracks with very little effort. If anybody's ever been on an e-bike, it's the same technology, same idea. So it does the work for you so you can enjoy what's around you just a little bit more rather than worrying about your heart rate. So, <laughs> I was going to say, so it makes it helpful for people of all ages. Absolutely. So we've opened up the door for really anybody to get on the bike, whether they're zero or 94, uh, anybody can get on and go. And I saw you have two-seater bikes and quad bikes. Yeah, so it's, it's great for groups, families. We have a group with three quads and one tandem, so a big group, which is really fun. Um, and then just two people, one person can get on and go. We're accommodating everyone. All right, I'm excited to get out there. It'll be great. Okay. So Mike, now that we're on the track, tell me, where does this track take us, this trail? Sure thing. So these rails, they've mm -hmm. been here forever, but they've always gone to the same place. Okay. So Jersey City, 125 miles away from oh, here. Wow. Okay. So we're going to go down the tracks today about five miles. We'll hit the turnaround mm -hmm. spot. We'll head back the same way, another five miles, so 10 miles round trip. So that's one of our runs that we do, okay. uh, about 10 miles. We also, on the weekends, we go, it's called kind of our sunset tour. Mm -hmm. We call it Rails and Ales. We'll serve drinks along the way, Fun. and it's 24 miles. Oh, I so love that. We go about double the speed, do it about three, three and a half hours. Oh, I love that this is a great activity so that, like, do in the spring, the summer, the fall. So you guys are open what time of year? We basically begin in uh, the end of May okay. uh, for the holiday there, mm -hmm. and then we get through October 31st. Uh, so we get through the, the, the leaves changing colors. Oh, I love uh, that. We ramp up, we get a little busier in October because everybody wants to come out here. I mean, it's Pennsylvania, it's yeah. the Poconos, it's amazing. The fall foliage is changes. amazing, yeah. Exactly, <laughs> yeah. So we're pretty lucky out here to have this. And this is just a unique way to see it. Mm -hmm. You can't see things that, unless you get out here on these yeah. tracks. Because um, there's not really any ability to get out here with cars or mm -hmm. hiking. So this is a good way to do it. A lot of people come here though and they have disabilities. They've got, you know, a bad knee mm -hmm. or a hip that hurts. And so this makes it so that they can do that. That's amazing because it's not limited for for anybody, like anybody can come and do it. Yeah, we had a family here 
Uh, there was 40 of them. The youngest child was zero, attached to mom and dad on oh, a harness. I love that. And then the oldest in the family, grandma, great grandma, great great grandma, <laughs> she was 94. So we had that whole group here. See, that's that great because no one missed out, and they had a wonderful memory that they'll have for a lifetime. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. You're definitely giving me a view that I never would have expected. I don't know what I was expecting, but I think this just like exceeded my expectations. Well, hey, all right, <laughs> that's what we hope for. You know, most of the time people get off the bikes and they say, "Hey, that was really awesome." Yeah. So that was such a unique experience. Definitely exceeded my expectations. Awesome. If people want to check you guys out, where can they go? Go to parailbike.com okay. and we're on social media as well. Uh, you can find us all over the internet. So there we are. All right, so definitely check out their website, check out their social media platforms. Thank you again for having me. I'm Deanna Fontanez for the Pocono Television Network. Something to keep in mind if you are a Monroe County based 501c3 nonprofit organization, you are welcome to apply to next year's Pocono Mountains Community Fundraiser funding. So be on the lookout for that information soon. But before next year, we have this year, and there's so much fun in store. We've got Chef Kurt Cummings from Wings and a Prayer to prepare some very special secret <laughs> sauce wings. I'm loving the ingredients so far. Can you walk us through this dish? Yeah, we, we're actually going to make a berry barbecue sauce for some of our wings. Yeah. And the thing about it, I know you're probably saying berries on a sauce. I, I see yeah. that. I've, I've gotten that look before. And the berries... <laughs> <laughs> the if berry, someone didn't give you that look, I would be concerned. Oh, <laughs> yeah, but you know what? I think, I think food... You just haven't met Kurt. Oh, yeah, oh, listen, we have over 60-something different sauces. Oh, nice. So we're talking sauce with chocolate, different stuff like that. But here we take nice. a bunch of berries strawberries, blueberries, raspberries, whatever berries yes. you can think about, we find we blend it up. And it's good for you because they have a lot of antioxidants. Oh, yeah. So listen, food should be food, good. Baby. Health food, This is it. This is perfect health food. And of course, nothing like some fried wings. Oh, wait a second. Soul These food. Wings are just covered in pureed fruit? No, we okay. have. <laughs> no, no. But what listen, it can secret? be. The secret, there is, <laughs> there is a, away. no, but there is a little smoky barbecue <laughs> sauce in there and we blend it up. Okay. So we, 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 we deal with it up with a lot of natural sugars. We don't okay. add a lot of extra yeah. sugars to it. Love that. Well, we let's get sauce them up. We sauce okay, so them up. So the berries become this sauce. Through the magic. Doctored up through the magic of television <laughs> yep. that happened right when you just blinked <laughs> now. Beautiful. Okay, so these wings are going in first? It's up to you. A little bit sauce of sauce? Sauce first. The sauce first. They, there you go. Oh. Don't be shy with the sauce. Come okay, on. okay, sorry. <laughs> I don't want to waste it. No, She's acting like a turtle. Yeah. <laughs> and we put some wings in there. Okay. You want to toss it? Do you want me I'll toss. You want to toss it? Um, here you go. Look at me and my oh, berry I wing. I would have tossed it like that. <laughs> okay, do it. No, do it. <laughs> Not with the tongs. No, I don't. I can't do that. I'm just saying. <laughs> Ooh, so we're like smothering these up, as you can see in that finished in product. Chef, there. at the event, you're going to have yeah. this sort of sauce. Any others? Yes, we're probably going to do something spicy, something savory, and something, you know, sweet, of course. Nice. So we'll have like three different kind of sauces there. Love Here's that. the berry barbecue. Well, also the another smells reason are amazing. why you want to go to the fundraiser because you get to see all different sorts of people there yeah. enjoying all different sorts of eats. I mean, we had the crab, we had the carpaccio, now we have berry wings. What more do you want? Yum, <laughs> a great preview. Yes. Thanks, Chef. Coming up, from living under a bridge to becoming a successful chef at a Pocono resort. Chris and several others share their inspiring stories as the organizations that help them are now getting some help of their own. At East Stroudsburg University, you will study with cutting edge technology. You can perform in the classroom, field or stage. You'll get involved on campus and off. You can have fun preparing for your future. Don't miss the 20th annual Pocono Mountains Community Fundraiser. Food Fest is back. Join us September 13th at 5.30 p.m. at Mount Airy Casino Resort's Outdoor Pavilion. All event costs are covered by these presenting sponsors, so all the funds raised by ticket sales and sponsorships go right to this year's nonprofit recipients. Come support your community and enjoy delectable food and desserts from these local restaurants and bakers. Call or email TJ Price to order tickets today. Our mountains are calling. Will you come? Nature is our neighbor. Make it yours. 
Choose our adventure. It awaits someone just like you. Visit us at PoconoMountains.com. Welcome back. Hundreds will gather here at Mount Airy Casino Resort for the 20th annual Pocono Mountains Community Fundraiser on Wednesday, September 13th. All money raised supports nonprofits doing important work in this community. And we're going to introduce you to the four organizations receiving funding this year, beginning with Street to Feet. This was my home for 30 days right here. Six feet of space. Chris Crossan will never forget becoming homeless at age 51, living under this bridge, then a tent in East Stroudsburg. It's rough, cold, wet. Prior to 2021, Chris says life was good. He was a longtime chef living with his mom as her caretaker. Once she was diagnosed with dementia and moved into a facility, they had to sell their home to pay for her care. Never in my life did I imagine I would be homeless. Chris found Street to Feed in East Stroudsburg, the Pocono's only daytime resource center for those who are homeless or at risk of becoming homeless. The newly renovated day center is a safe place to get out of the elements, take a shower, do laundry, and search for available job and apartment opportunities. Case managers also help them obtain important documents, photo IDs, social security cards, and birth certificates. It's the entire reason we do this work is to be able to help people get back on their feet because we are all one major life event away from being in a very similar situation. Clients can also receive same day pay and get job experience by picking up trash in Monroe County through Pocono 3C. Since the program's inception in 2019, participants have collected nearly 15,000 bags of litter. So we've had so many people move forward to full-time jobs, have become housed in a variety of different situations, have been able to pay bills, fines, expenses, and things like that to kind of really help them really get back on their feet, hence our name. After nine months of homelessness, Chris now lives in transitional housing and has a steady job back in the kitchen as a line chef at a Pocono resort. I cook food for about 500 to 700 people every night and I'm loving every minute of it. Chris's mom recently passed away, but he knows she would be proud of his progress. No longer under the bridge, coming out on top. Absolutely, the future looks bright right now. With the Pocono Television Network, I'm Brianna Strunk. Hey look, a shoe there all alone. Zechariah and Michaela are reading their favorite books, a skill the nine-year-old twins only learned within the last two years. They couldn't read, write. They didn't know their ABCs, one, two, threes when they got here. In 2021, the twins were rescued from a dire living situation in Texas. They could have been placed in the foster care system and separated, but their grandmother, Angela, stepped in and was granted full custody. When they came here, we didn't realize, you know, they were seven years old. We didn't realize they had the issues that they had. They were soon diagnosed with PTSD, autism, and attention deficit disorders. Tanya with the Pennsylvania Elks Home Service Program was there to help. The organization provides at-home support and advocacy to people of all ages with developmental disabilities, introducing them to resources, medical benefits, and other assistance programs they likely don't know about. With all the changes with insurance, and uh, the health care systems, different avenues for getting supplies. If their insurance won't cover it and they don't have the money in pocket to cover it, I have connections to other offices that I might be able to get it. This program is free for all families and offered throughout Pennsylvania. Here in Monroe County, this vehicle is making its rounds every week. It's just a phone call away and a lot of emotional support I do provide. That's what a lot of these people need, just seeing people. Zachariah and Michaela now have the tools to better manage their diagnoses. And for the first time, they're attending school regularly, playing with other kids and enjoying home cooked meals. And so what has it been like learning all of that stuff? Your ABCs, reading, going to school, what's that like? Confusing. Happy. Happy? Yeah, I'm happy that I learned that. Turning the page 
into a promising future. With the Pocono Television Network, I'm Brianna Strunk. Wrapping up our time in the kitchen, we are now joined by Philip St. James from Santa Fe, one of six of the presenting sponsors for the event, along with the event organizer, TJ Price. Guys, welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome, Thank you. welcome. So much excitement already happening with the beautiful dishes in front of us, but you know, it's all to celebrate 20 years. That's such an accomplishment. I mean, how does it feel to be organizing an event for such a worthy cause? It's fantastic. Uh, we have had tremendous support from local sponsors and we're still soliciting sponsors mm -hmm. to, to meet our goals. And really, uh, it is a truly a community event helping local nonprofits help local people in Monroe County. So yeah. it's, I'm very proud to be part of this organization. Now, Philip, let's talk shop. Okay. 20 years, and you're almost to that $3 million mark? Yes, collectively, almost at $3 million. Incredible. I'm so excited about this event, though, because last year we kind of stepped out the box and mm -hmm. we did something different. So for the last 17 years, we had been doing a lot of in, in it, was, it was at a sit down dinners. Mm -hmm. And then we did the, um, the virtual things. And then last year we broke out and we did the restaurants. And so it's, yeah. it's, it was a great success. And so we're doing it again this year. Just goes to show you guys are always adapting and kind of meeting the community where they are, not only with the funds raised, but also just people who want to enjoy events like this. You really have your pulse on the people of Monroe County and beyond. And I know so many people have reacted so positively to the event last year. I'm sure that helped, you know, bolster everyone to work just as hard to make this event just as much of a success. Absolutely, absolutely. So we have at least 20 restaurants participating yep. this year in a wide variety of food, and it was so well received that we're looking to even kick it up a notch even more this year. Yeah, and again, what you saw throughout the show, we had started with the crab meat, then we went to the carpaccio, mm -hmm. then the berry wings. So I mean, that's just a sampling of what you're going to be able to enjoy at a food fest. So I guess the real question is, should you come with an empty stomach? <laughs> yes. You know, it was 20 restaurants last year, and I got to six. And so, <laughs> before getting full, so I had to start really, really... Game plan ahead of time. Game plan. Yes. Yes. Yeah, little bites, yeah. little bites. It was oh, definitely, well. definitely tough to get through them. But yeah. what a fun experience to really get to taste maybe things you have never tried before, and then knowing that it's all for such a worthy cause just makes the whole experience all the better. 100%. Absolutely. We so appreciate you guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you for Thank having you. us. We yeah. appreciate Monroe County. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Still ahead, before we close out another episode of Pocono Mountains Magazine, see the inspiring stories of the two other organizations receiving funding this year. We'll be right back. At St. Luke's Orthopedic Care, you can trust us with your hands, feet, shoulders, hips, and knees. Because healthy bones and joints mean you can do more. You can trust us to recommend the right approach to care, including joint sparing treatments and therapies. And when surgery is the only choice, we offer options to help you heal faster, including technology-assisted joint replacements and muscle sparing hip surgery. St. Luke's, the orthopedic care you trust, now more than ever. Nature is our neighbor. Make it yours. Our mountains are calling. Will you come? Visit us at PoconoMountains.com. Welcome back. Monroe County's largest single event fundraiser hopes to celebrate its 20th year by hitting the $3 million mark of total money raised, which goes back to organizations in the Poconos. And now we're introducing you to the final two organizations receiving money at this month's event. Ashley Stevens grew up in an unstable household with constant drug and alcohol use. At just 12 years old, she began experimenting, sometimes using with her parents. My mom had a lot of boyfriends that came in and out, and uh, she would leave us a lot. What started me with drinking and drugging at first was uh, one of her boyfriends molested me. And when I told her, she didn't believe me. Ashley's addiction got worse over time. She eventually had two kids, but just couldn't get clean. I got to a point where I did things that I said I would never do, you know, selling myself, sleeping on couches. If I died, I would have been okay with it. In 2021, after being in and out of jail and rehab, she finally had enough. I remember getting arrested for the last time and just hitting my knees in a jail cell and just begging for strength and help. That help 
Recovery Revolution. Founded in 2005, the Outpatient Drug and Alcohol Treatment Center provides counseling and other services for little or no cost to adolescents and adults in and around Northampton County. Individuals come in here at times close to death and it's just such an honor to be able to walk alongside them, give them the tools and they, you know, take these tools and use them in their lives and they can absolutely change their life around. Recovery Revolution also reaches Pocono based students attending Colonial Academy in Wingap and Monroe Career and Technical Institute. Here at MCTI, a clinician meets with all ninth graders throughout the school year for a prevention education program. Usually, like the onset of abuse is around ninth grade. So it's a perfect opportunity to start talking to the individual students there. Ashley recently celebrated two years of sobriety with support from her parents and children. She even got baptized and leads the housekeeping department at a Christian conference center. Her next goal is to become a social worker, helping others in recovery. This two years has been so transformal for me. Like, I wish I would have done it before, you know, like gave it a chance because now it's like life is so different. I've gotten so many things back. Including her life, a life she now knows is worth living. With the Pocono Television Network, I'm Brianna Strunk. <laughs> You might not guess it, but Kaylee and Susan are sisters. And these sisters love catching movies at the Pocono Cinema and Cultural Center in East Stroudsburg. They're bonded, not by blood, but through Big Brothers Big Sisters of Northeastern Pennsylvania. She feels like a mom and a friend. Like, like, yeah, she's like, she's funny. You could tell her anything and she'll like give you good advice. Despite a 50 year age gap, they enjoy the same movies and also spent the summer tackling some of 14 year old Kaylee's struggles with swimming. We could still do a lot of things together, even though I am uh, old enough to be her grandmother. And um, it's just, it's a good dynamic. It was a good fit. There are currently 16 matches in Monroe County, but the youth mentoring program also has a wait list. And we have such a huge need for bigs. Um, we have a huge need for male mentors as well. Program specialists can help recommend low cost or free things to do in the area, such as visiting the park. If they have any questions, like what are we supposed to do when it's snowing out? That's really what, you know, we are there from our agency and how we can support that match and how we can see it grow and develop. <laughs> Thanks to Susan's sound advice, Kaylee says she can better navigate normal issues at home and her grades have improved. I want to go to college. I want to travel the world too. <laughs> and hopefully I'll still be in contact with my big. Makes me feel good. A sisterhood that's made for the movies, but is far from fiction. With the Pocono Television Network, I'm Brianna Strunk. There you have it, the four organizations receiving funding from the 20th annual Pocono Mountains Community Fundraiser being held at Mount Airy Casino Resort on Wednesday, September 13th. The night of the event, we'll learn just how much each organization is receiving, so it's really exciting stuff. Definitely is. We're very much looking forward to that, Brianna, and the changing colors and the trees all across the Pocono Mountains this month and next. You can find out when those vibrant colors will show up in which region at PoconoMountains.com slash fall for the fall foliage forecast. And I love fall in the Poconos. So thanks for watching everyone and we'll see you again next month.